Hey guys, I want to talk to you about my dilemma I had when I put my Turbo 400 behind my 4.8 LS build in the vehicle of all places and then found out I didn't have enough torque converter clearance to uh, safely run the combo because torque converter, ballooning, uh, crankshaft in play, what they call thrust, would have destroyed in that Turbo 400 transmission. To share what I've learned and what I've come up with with everyone so they have a, a better understanding of how and why this stuff works the way it does. So a lot of the videos you find on YouTube, you'll find people talking about, oh, if you're gonna put an old school uh, transmission behind the LS motor, all you need is one of these rings it's just a little conversion adapter ring that slides in the back of the crankshaft and you should be good to go. Problem being, in my application, not particularly uncommon, I wouldn't think, of a 2002 4.8 engine to a, what was a 1969 Turbo 400 transmission, that should be fairly common. Just using this adapter and the factory dished flex plate did not work because the uh, it was not pinched, but my torque converter had no forward and backwards movement because it basically seated on the front of this adapter and had almost no movement back and forth between this adapter shaft or the middle of the torque converter seats inside the transmission in the pump. That's bad news. You have to have a minimum of an eighth inch or 125 thousandths, or you ha can have a maximum of three sixteenths of an inch. A lot of torque converter and transmission manufacturers use one quarter inch as maximum forward movement because the farther you pull your torque, torque converter forward, in order to mate your mounting tabs or feet of the converter to your flex plate pulls that drive out of the pump. And if you pull it too far forward, that little notch that engages the gear inside your pump won't get a full bite. And we all know that's gonna end bad. The problem I was having was I had, I don't wanna say zero, but I had way less than maybe 10 to 20 thousandths max movement of that converter, which is not enough to handle just crankshaft thrust alone. Basically pinching between the adapter and the inside of the pump, couldn't move the torque converter, and to make it worse, the mounting, let's see if you guys can see this, these tabs or feet were 200 thousandths of an inch from even touching the flex plate when it was already bottomed out on the stupid adapter which is fully seated in the crank you have to have yeah. it's for that crankshaft to have its thrust and or your torque converter can balloon and and then actually bend your flex plate that's in just in case you didn't know that's how the flex plate got its name is that under um, conditions where your torque converter would balloon slightly and push towards the engine the flex plate will absorb that push or that uh, pressure from your torque converter and flex to save the thrust bearings or thrust face of your crank. But this did not work in my application. Big shout out to Brad and Jake. Both have helped me out a great deal with uh, flex plates, adapter. Uh, uh, Brad actually sent me a link, which I will put in here. Go to that Novak website. It will literally tell you everything you need to know to put an old school uh, transmission behind the various uh, LS engines. We're not, we're not able to use the dish flex plate or the little ring adapter. What we have to deal with, what they call the six liter flat flex plate, has all these extra holes in it, which is fine. It probably makes it lighter than my other one. But what makes this combination specific, makes it different, 
is you have this bolt-on adapter. This ad bolt-on adapter can be used two different ways. Uh, one, it talks about putting it behind, like I'm going to do, putting it behind the flat flex plate. That is considered the 604LADE setup to use the uh, bolt-on adapter with the flat flex plate. There are, apparently, applications where you can use the dish flex plate and mount this bolt-on adapter on the outside of it. Please go to that Novak uh, website and read through all of the information concerning the different years and all the different applications. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty of how to get our minimum eighth inch clearance for our torque converter LS engine with a turbo 400. So basically, when you put that dished flex plate on your crank, and then install your adapter ring. That measures an, a, a total distance from the crankshaft flange to the end of this adapter was 870 thousandths. Okay. When you switch over to the uh, 6 liter 4L ADE setup, which also matches, I believe, if you go to that Novak website, It'll talk about putting the older uh, transmissions on the back of these engines. It talks about using your bolt-on spacer directly on your crank. And then you'll put a flat flex plate on your bolt-on adapter. What that does is properly locate your uh, ring gear, ring on your flex plate to your starter. So basically, the combination of this bolt-on adapter and this flat uh, flex plate puts this in the exact same spot as if you use the dish flex plate directly mounted to the crankshaft flange. So, to fix my particular application, just by switching to the bolt-on uh, adapter with the flat flex plate, I gain 70 thousandths of clearance. Okay? You could bolt that together and run it, but like I said before, you're supposed to have a minimum of 125 thousandths or an eighth of an inch uh, torque converter clearance. I'm gonna take my, I think it's 60 grit uh, flapper wheel, and I'm gonna slowly take this material off. You know, I'm gonna remove 55 thousandths of material right off the face of this adapter reason I'm doing that is the snout on the torque converter mates directly up to this adapter. We're going to call it the ring adapter or the bolt-on adapter. Doesn't matter. It's going to sit. It's going to stop up against that adapter. 55 thousandths off of that flange isn't going to hurt anything, but it's going to give me that minimum backwards clearance I need to protect my pump. See the shiny surface on that outer area where I had uh, run the flapper wheel around it to remove that 55 thousandths. Normally, when you're putting a old school or standard bolt pattern torque converter on these LS engines, you have to along holes in your flex plate to match the metric bolt pattern. The dual bolt pattern converter, this wider bolt pattern will work with that larger second pattern on the converter. I just wanted to let you guys uh, see that. Here's another little tidbit of information uh, kind of supporting why I always stress check everything. I was cleaning all the paint off of this register just in the process, taking a screwdriver and scratching all this thick rubberized paint. And look what I found. Flag that somebody uh, didn't notice on this torque converter. It's a metal that would interfere with this thing's ability to slide up on that adapter. It's going to come down and hit that stupid piece of slag before it gets all the way to this machine surface. I'll be removing that before we get any too far ahead. 
was a piece of welding slag that had dropped down and attached itself the snout of this stupid torque converter. That was definitely interfering with the engagement to the uh, adapter in the crankshaft. There she is all installed. That's the uh, 6.0 to 4L80E is what everybody likes to try to refer to it as with the bolt-on crankshaft adapter to the flat flex plate. Now I'm going to get ready to set this engine right back down in the chassis. Mounting pads on the converter do match up to the uh, flex plate perfectly. So appreciate you guys watching these videos. Hopefully this helps you in your LS swap adventure as far as getting your transmission safely and correctly mounted in space your application, whatever transmission you're going to try to run. Please go check out that no site or web page. because the information on there is invaluable. I wished I had access to that at the beginning of all process. So thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hit up the comments, man. YouTube, I guess, apparently puts a lot of emphasis on that. You guys send me a little note. Say hi, bye, whatever. Thanks for watching.